Yo, so much, so much stuff today, man. So much stuff today. Uh, big things. I talked to uh, Jermon, Jermon, yeah, Jermon Best earlier today. Talked with my girl Shape World. We did a we did a live about what's going on at Walmart. Man, couple of couple of podcasts that was done today. Yo, let's get into this topic right here. What's going on, guys? Lockout men in the building. Back again with another informational podcast for you guys out there. Whether you're drivers, whether you're uh, just people that's interested or people that's in the know, man, this invisible, this invisible. I can't tell it this invisible threat that is a threat on all of our lives. That's disrupting everything that we love, man. Not in my 50 years that I have experienced anything, anything of this magnitude, man. Let me tell you something. President Trump, your president says that it might be another 60 days before we can curve this threat might go all the way up into August, September. I don't know, man. I already said that 2020 is a wrap. It is a wrap. This is taking a toll on every body and we're going to need some help. We are going to need some help, but the people up in Romulus, yeah, the Amazon distribution center up there. Yeah. Employees protested the conditions of the threat, the virus, the outbreaks, the spreads. Yes, sir. Romulus, Michigan on Wednesday. Now, this is this is last week. But, you know, of course, you guys bring me you guys. Throw this stuff at me like, yo, lockout, man. I got something for you here. Get it out to your people, man. Now, you guys may know about it or may not know about it, but I'm here to bring it to you now. I'm here. I got time. That's all I've been doing is feed, fielding phone calls and, and looking at TV and, 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 and watching Facebook. That's what I'm doing. We can't do nothing else. We can't, we can't go to the malls. Can't go outside, can't congregate, damn near can't go to a park. Well, where I'm at is like an industrial area anyway, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying. On Wednesday, Amazon workers walked out of the door of Romulus Warehouse to protest, to protest work conditions. Yes, they did. They said the conditions there, they said that the conditions there was 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 off of three employees catching the virus. They said that they are scared for the health of themselves and for their families. This comes as they receive word of three of their co-workers that are now home sick with the virus. And everybody, everybody there was like, yo, man, come on now. Come on now, y- y- y'all not y'all not shutting us down for a minute to to disinfect the place. They got it from somewhere. Maybe they brought it f- brought it from outside the inside, but they got it from somewhere, and it's lingering in the facility. And they don't want to shut it down. That's a damn shame. Damn damn shame on you. Let's go to. Where are we going? We're going to WXYZ TV in Detroit, Channel 7, Channel 7 for the report. Workers walked out the door to protest conditions at the warehouse in Romulus. They say they are scared for their own health and that of their families. The walkout comes as they receive word that the, their co-workers have tested positive for COVID-19. I believe three of them have tested positive so far. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live at the warehouse right now. So, Kim, what are the workers there telling you? I know they have to be frightened. 
Yes, you have it right. They told me they got a text message from the company today saying that three of their co-workers now have tested positive for COVID-19. They told me that they were told that they could be fired if they walk out in protest, but they did so anyway because they believe they're blowing the whistle on a life and death matter. And they're also asking you shoppers at home to stop ordering non-essential items for now to only order what is absolutely essential. Today, workers walked out of the Amazon warehouse in Romulus to call for action. They say they got word that now three of their co-workers have become sick with COVID-19. They fear more of them will. The reason? They say the building is not being sanitized thoroughly, in their opinion, and the company is not giving them a way to work while practicing social distancing. They are calling for a two-week closure to prevent the spread of the virus from people who may not know they, too, are already sick. Oh, shit. Sad, man. That's, that's, that's sad, serious, something's going on over there. Something's got to give. And Amazon is one of the hardest places to work at. I mean, I have family members and friends that used to work for Amazon and the conditions inside of Amazon is not all that hot. Not all that hot, man. I mean, uh, one of my son's friends used to work for Amazon and she got terminated like she got Friday. You know what I'm saying? She was at home and she got a text message saying, yo, uh, at this time, we're letting you go, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm not sure of the reason, but she only worked it there for like maybe six, seven months or something like that. But she got sick. And this is before the pandemic. She got sick and they sent her home because she was sick and still penalize her for going home being sick. I guess I think the reason why they let her go was because she had like a lot of points or something like that. But she was sick. And she was let go because of that. Amazon is one of the hardest place, again, to work at. I, you know, a lot of people says that Amazon is cool. Amazon is good because they, you know, they got work for everybody, but they got continuous work because they're they're They are a revolving door. Not too many people could stay there. You know, a, a family member of mine was was like, a supervisor or something like that. And she said that they give you no way to get around. Like the, the facility is like two football fields long. And she said she has to walk every inch. It wasn't like how they, you know, how they give you like a little uh, go-kart or a little bicycle or whatever. But for everybody that works there, they get a daily work out let's continue with the uh with the report we have now three confirmed cases inside this building and they have yet to close to clean or sanitize i stand for everybody here beside me and i want dtw1 to be shut down immediately for professional cleaning we're going in here standing side by side, working side by side. They should not be selling non-essential items. It's definitely a shame. We're selling a lot of stuff that should not be sold at this time. I feel like it's going to take somebody to die for them to finally take action. Amazon released a statement saying in part, like all businesses grappling with the ongoing coronavirus pandemic, we are working hard to keep employees safe while serving communities and the most vulnerable. We have taken extreme measures to keep people safe, tripling down on deep cleaning, procuring safety supplies that are available, and changing processes to ensure those in our buildings are keeping safe distances. Now, you know what? I agree that maybe Amazon shouldn't be selling uh, the stuff that they are selling, but they are a business. You got to look at it that way. They are a business, and they looking at it like, yo, in order for us to stay in business and in order for us to continue paying you guys, we have to let some people order uh, some things to keep to, to keep it going. Now, of course, toilet paper, uh, uh, disinfected and and other essential stuff that that need that the American people need right now. Yeah. But other stuff. They're going to still, you know, let people order because 
they they are a business. They are a business. And what they and what some of the workers are talking about, I mean, I agree. You know, now that three confirmed cases is, is out, out of the facility, they they have to shut down and disinfect. They got to. Now, as far as shutting down for two weeks, maybe, maybe they talk in two weeks will pay. The business side of it is looking like, yo, two weeks is going to it's going to put a major hit in our pockets. But of course, it's going to take a major hit in your pockets. But like the man said, it's going to take one of one of your employees to die in order for you guys to turn around and and do something. And I hope and pray that it doesn't come to that. That it doesn't come to that. Companies need to take care of their employees. They got to watch out for their safety. They got to watch out for their health and all like that. And if this virus is like wide spreading, wide spreading like that, you, 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 you gotta, you, you gotta, you, you gotta follow through at least a day or at least a day or two to at least get the facility disinfected what do you guys think what do you guys think about that as i said before wall i mean not walmart damn it man why i keep saying walmart um amazon <laughs> amazon is one of the toughest place to work for you know let me let me ask google right quick is amazon one of the toughest place to work for uh amazon the worst place here it is is amazon probably one of the worst places to work for due to the excessive stress due to the excessive stress work i mean and the essential work hours yeah <laughs> yeah it is uh it is time to eat y'all so i had to Turn around and go out here and grab my food. Oh, damn. Hold on right quick. Okay. <laughs> okay. I had to tip my dude. Can't let the man go without a tip. I mean, at least he came out here to deliver my food. So I, I could. I, I had to tip him. I had to tip him something. You know what I'm saying? Still tipping on four foes. Anyway, anyway, but that's about it for today or for right now until I get something else to bring to you guys. You know what I'm saying? Yo, if you guys like content like this and more and you guys like to for me to continue to bring you the information needed, hit me up in the Gmail. Woo! Lockout men podcast at gmail.com. Don't forget to hit the like subscribe comment share and hit that bell for more content like this this is lockout man and i'm glad that you guys is here and fucking with me in the in in the time of despair that's what this is time of despair i i can't call it anything else can't call it anything else but until then until next time yo we are